And this is me at first light, just walking along the four mile road. Very peaceful. Naturally. I've forgotten my watch, so I have to depend on the GPS for time. But that should be fine. I'll probably take a wee video picture about every hour approximately. It's taken me about an hour, I think, to walk to this start of the descent down to the Nile River. Looks as though there's some showers in the, in the ranges. Some blue sky up there, so weather might behave itself. Well, I'm about two and a half hours from the highway and this old forestry road is even more overgrown than it was when I came along on my mountain bike here uh, last year. A lot more of the gorse has fallen over. The signs that a four-wheel drive has been along here recently, so it's obviously bashed its way along. I'm pretty sure that mountain up there is Mount Bovis. It's the right shape. It's the right distance away. That's Mount Faraday up there. And I'm three and a quarter hours from the highway. This is a steep drop-off point from this uh, old forestry road. It's quite steep, but there's lots of things to hold on to, and it takes you down to the Nile River. You walk up the zigzaggy Nile, then you go up one of these ridges to go onto the ridge to Hardy, where that uh, cloud's streaming over just now. I did that about 25 years ago. And this is the old forestry road. It's not quite so overgrown as it was back there. And I tootled down this for another, I don't know, half an hour, till it peters out. This is the end of the track, three and three quarters hours from the highway. The end of the track is right beside this creek. Here, I'm going to have a nice, oh, there's a marker. Don't know if it's mine. So it's nice and clear. <laughs> this is the creek. You basically just cross over. See the other marker there? And there's markers all the way to the fox catchment, so we we'll have a wee break here, drink some water, maybe a quarter of an hour's break, and then head on towards the box catchment. Well, this is what the trail's like after the, the road track finishes. It's just bush, but it's very well marked. I mean, there's pink markers every, I don't know, 20 metres. Reasonably rough terrain but no big holes or anything, just roots and things. Quite pleasant actually. It's ten minutes before you get to the, the drop off into the fox catchment. You hit this open kind of Manuka country, which again is quite pleasant. And again, the track's pretty well marked. A 
I felt it was a bit slow in that last stretch from the end of the road to the, the drop off into the the fox catchment, but this is the drop off here. Just taking a GPS start here, and it just goes down this big gully in that direction. There's still markers down there, and I've had a little break here, eating some chocolate biscuits. I had half a litre of water. I'll have a bit of a leg stretch and then get moving. My timing's okay. It's, uh, it's a quarter to one, I think. It should give me get get down to the box by say two. That leaves me four hours to get out to the road. I think that's okay. Christine's meeting me at six. Well, the open Fox River is uh, quite low, and I guess it must have been a lot lower before that rain last week. But the consequence of the drought is that there's just green slime everywhere in the water. Very slippy surface. It'll take a big, big flush to scrape all that slimy stuff off. I can only be about half an hour from the Baldwin now. It's taking me an hour and a half down a bouldery uh, Fox River to get to the ballroom. This is the ballroom. It's really quite big. It's hard to get a sense of scale. This is the back of the ballroom. The overhang. It's quite dry in here. I mean, it is raining just now, but not very heavily. So I think I'll just uh, have a little siesta, and then stroll out. Should be in lots of time to meet Christine at six o'clock. It's uh, just after half past three at the moment. Well, I've had some rain and now I've got the sun. Just as I've come beside these big limestone formations, what I think are very really like buttresses of a cathedral. Absolutely beautiful. And it's a sandy part of the walk. Very pleasant. More boulders coming up. This is the Fox Dilemma Creek Junction. That's Dilemma Creek. Straight ahead. With big rock cliffs on either side. Very shallow today. And so is the Fox. Extremely shallow. And there's the gorge down to the road. You see the sign. Cross over there. And stroll on down. I've got heaps of time to get uh, picked up with Christine. This is the last crossing place for the fox. It's very, very low. This sand that I'm walking on, the last time I was here it was up to my crotch, just about the water level. It's pretty shallow. Looks as though I can just uh, stride straight across. Those ducks are still giving it heaps up there. And well, the sun's out. Into my last half an hour of walk here. Right here I am at the car park. 
And I can see there's a car waiting for me. Isn't that ideal? Quarter of an hour early. That's wonderful. What a nice finish. Not bad. Not bad at all.